This is a story called The War for Baby Bradley. Max and Christina are a very young couple in their early 30s. They've recently found out that Christina's infertile, so they applied to adopt a baby. A year later, they, they get the news that they'd been waiting for. A newborn baby boy has become available for them to adopt. The couple go and fill in the necessary forms and then they bring baby Bradley home. The couple are besotted with him and they couldn't love him more if he was their natural born son. Baby Bradley thrives in his new home and he's very happy there. However, when baby Bradley is almost two years old, his birth birth parents decide that they want him back. They contact social services and tell them that they want him back. Social services agree to meet with them to discuss this. The social workers are happy with the way the couple live and they've arranged a meeting with the adoptive parents. When Max and Christina find out that baby Bradley's parents want him back, they are devastated. They meet with social services and tell them that baby Bradley is their son and they believe that baby Bradley's birth parents gave up all rights of him when they gave him up. Social services tell them that because the adoption was not yet finalised, the birth parents had the right to change their minds. Max and Christina were very tempted to, be, to take baby Bradley and run away with him but they knew that would be wrong. They agreed to meet with Bradley's birth parents. When they meet them, they didn't like them from the start. After the meeting, Max and Christina told social services that there was no way Bradley's birth parents were taking him because they just didn't like or trust them. Social services said that it wasn't their decision to make. It was up to the judge. In court, the judge decided that Bradley's birth parents could have, super, um, could have supervised visits once a week. The visits went well and when they went back to court, the judge said that Bradley's birth parents could have two supervised visits a week. Again, the visits went well and the next time they were in court, they were told that they could now have two unsupervised visits a week with Bradley. These visits seemed to go well too, but Max and Christina still didn't like or trust Bradley's birth parents. However, when they all went back to court, Bradley's birth parents were given full custody of him. By this time, his birth mum was pregnant again. On the day Max and Christina had to hand Bradley over, he sobbed and cried, causing Christina to sob and cry. For a long time the couple were heartbroken. Eventually though they adopted a baby girl and called her Bobby. About a year later they adopted another girl and called her Jessica. However, Bradley was never far from their minds and his bedroom was kept as it was when he left. When Bradley was five years old, one of the neighbours on the street contacted social services and told them that Bradley and his younger brother, Jordan Airstree, and their one-year-old sister, Molly, were being left home alone on a regular basis. When social services got to the house, it was pitch black, and the kids were in there alone. They asked Bradley where his parents were, and he told them he didn't know. Social services went in the house, and they found three-year-old Jordan, who was sat on the floor wearing nothing but a pair of filthy underpants and one year old Molly was standing in her cot wearing nothing but a dirty nappy. They called the police who gave them the go-ahead to take them into care. Just as they were being put into the car their parents came home and they were immediately arrested. They were charged with neglect and child abandonment along with other offences. The kids were taken to a temporary foster home. They stayed there for a few weeks because social services couldn't find anywhere else for them to go without having to separate them. However, the social worker who had dealt with Bradley's case from the start was given the case again. 
Straight away she contacted Max and Luke, Christina and they agreed to take all the kids. Eventually they put in an application to adopt them and it was approved. In court the judge didn't see the point in delaying the adoption and she told, told Max and Christina that it was finalised. When their birth parents were sent to jail their mum was four months pregnant with triplets. And when they were born, they too were adopted by Max and Christina. Now they have eight kids, Bradley, Jordan, Jessica, Gracie, Eva, Molly, Bobby and Olivia. They are all very happy and settled until a few years later when their parents were released from jail. They knew the way the kids lived and that they turned up at the house demanding to see them. But Max and Christina called the police. The police told them to stay away but they didn't listen and they kept turning up demanding to see the kids. The police issued them with a restraining order but they still kept turning up demanding to see the kids. In the end the family moved away and they never heard from or saw the kids' birth parents again. The kids are very happy with Max and Christina and in their new school. The end. Thank you.